They've got a whole lot to dish out to us this evening and all you have to do is sit back, enjoy the moment on air today and one thing I'll always say to you, make sure you have your Bibles closed because everything you hear here has um, you know, that spiritual backing and you don't want to be left out once we start our conversation for this evening. So let me go ahead and introduce the gardeners in the house this evening. I have got Pastor Linus Akudu, the very first gardener I'd love to introduce. Good evening to you, sir. <laughs> Good evening to you, sir. Hi, Port Harcourt. Hi, Garden City. All right, I've also got um, another pastor in the house. Okay, I'm going to be careful so I don't introduce him wrongly. <laughs> I've got Pastor Eberichi Kema Esta. Thank you very much. Good I got it right, yeah? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right, so today we want to, you know, talk about some very important things. Today we've got questions, okay? I have some lineup questions for this evening, and I will try as much as possible to finish them in time and get to open the phone line so you can be a part of the show. But don't forget, you can actually start sending us messages as early as possible on WhatsApp or via SMS to 0704 000 1783. That's 0704-000-1783. Don't forget our past messages are on YouTube at The Last Alternative. You have to search using at The Last Alternative. And this one will be uploaded pretty soon so you can actually follow up our messages on YouTube. So let's get to start for this evening. And we, I want to start with the very first question I have here. What is the spiritual meaning of righteousness and how can he be born of a woman or he who is born of a woman be righteous with a just and holy Elohim? Who do I start with this evening? Okay. Where's the camera? I would you? Okay, um, let's go. You're looking so beautiful. Oh yes, I was born that way. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it's amazing. Thank you. So when you get married, you know what to do. Oh yeah. Spend your money on your. Work. That was out. <laughs> Very out. <laughs> okay, looking at righteousness today is a serious topic. I, mean, I I get good bombs. It's something we we'll talk about. Um, righteousness. Righteousness is Yahweh's standard of perfection. And then if we bring it home closer to dispensation, we can say righteousness is by, is by, is by, by Yahweh. Um, we can bring it closer to this dispensation by saying Yahweh's standard of all, of act, Yahweh's standard paid by Yahushua. But looking at it dispensationally, we define righteousness of the Almighty as neither an attribute or an attribute of the Almighty, not the or the changed character of the believer, but righteousness is righteousness is the Messiah Himself. Righteousness is the person. Is a who fully met in our place and behalf every demand of the law, and who is by the act of the Almighty called imputation made unto us as righteousness. Spiritual righteousness can be defined, can be summarized to be righteousness. The person is Yahweh's standard, paid. Fully by Yahushua. That's what righteousness is. Now you can look at um, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, to take that position. If we can take it now, we can also look at Isaiah 42, 18 to 22, Isaiah 53, 10 to, 2, 10 to 12, Isaiah 49, 6, and Psalm 98, verse 1 to 3. So I can allow the Apostle Kudu to take the second part of that question, which is how can you. Uh, how can a man born of a woman be righteous with a just and holy Elohim? Yeah, hallelujah. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Um, this answer, we can get to it straight from Revelation chapter 13. How can a man born of a woman be righteous before the holy and righteous Elohim? It is only Yahweh himself that can achieve that. For this to take place, he crucified Yahushua from the foundation of the world. Revelation chapter 13, verse 8. This is only obtainable through the righteousness of the Messiah. The barrister has already defined it that Yahushua is the righteousness of Yahweh. He quoted a scripture in Psalm 98 from verse 1 and 2. We read, 
Proverb 98, 1 and 2. Proverb 98, Psalm 98. Yes, Psalm 98. Uh, Is it, shall I read? Okay, sir. Oh, sing unto Yahweh a new song, mm -hmm. for he had done marvelous things. Hallelujah. His right hand, his holy arm, had gotten him the victory. Uh -huh. Yahweh had made known his salvation. That is number one. Yahweh has made known his salvation. Mm -hmm. Yahweh has made known his salvation. Two, his righteousness had he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. Okay, his righteousness has he openly showed in the sight of the hidden. Mm -hmm. How do we know that? If you come to Luke chapter 2 verse Luke, the book of Luke, we use scripture to interpret scripture. Pisa already said when we're on A, what you need to do is to get your Bible ready. You remember about the man that Simeon, that Yahweh said he will not die until he see the Messiah. Mm -hmm. So in Luke chapter 2 verse 30, when the Spirit brought the man to the temple, when Yahushua was about to be dedicated, the man now said, Yahweh, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. Verse 29, verse 30. For my eyes have seen your salvation. Salvation, salvation is a person. Mm. Righteousness is also a person. That means, based on the question, the righteousness of Yahweh is defined as a person. Hallelujah. Yahweh's standard of doing things. Mm. Yahweh's perfect standard of doing things. Mm. Some people will interpret it. Righteousness is Yahweh's standard of doing things. Yeah. And how can a how can a, a sinful man mm. be made righteous before the Almighty Yahweh? That one can be possible through the crucifixion of Yahushua. When we reckon ourselves to be dead with him, then we become the righteousness of the Father. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. Yes. He has made him to be sin for us. Mm -hmm. Who knew no sin, that we may be made the righteousness of the Father in, in, him. in the Son. Hallelujah. I know you will still have something to add to that. That is what I wanted to read. The Spirit oh, of Yahweh is oh, one. Oh, oh, okay, wow. okay. So, is and uh, let me continue in the distance. Almighty is consistent with his own law and holiness in freely justifying a sinner who believes in the Messiah. Mm. That is one in whose behalf the Messiah has made every demand of the law. If you think about Romans chapter 8, verse 1 and 2, it says, There is therefore now no condemnation mm. to them that are in Yeshua HaMashiach, who walk not according to the flesh, mm. but according to the spirit. Hallelujah. For what the Lord could not do in that it was weak through the, the flesh, flesh, the Father sent his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness which is expected of the law mm. could be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, mm. but according to the spirit. Hallelujah. We discussed last week about Ephesians chapter 3, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 21 the scripture says now the righteousness of Yahweh outside the law is what made manifest being witnessed by the law and the prophets even the righteousness of Yahweh mm. which is by the faith of Yahushua HaMashiach mm. unto all and upon them upon all them that believe for there is no difference all have sinned and come short of the glory of the, of the Father what is righteousness you know why we uh, Peter why we try to make this thing very clear. There is a brother of ours that listened to this program, uh, Bishop. Yeah. And he was accusing us of preaching righteousness yes. as work. works. Righteousness cannot be of works. But the there person? was a time that, yes, there was a time that righteousness can only be obtained through works. works. Of course. When, That's the beauty of dispensation. Yes, yes. So, Bishop, if you are listening today, Today, righteousness can only be obtained through faith. Obedience is through faith. We say that obedience to the instruction that Yahweh has given mm. gives, man, gives man righteousness. Yeah. Yep. Abraham, in Genesis chapter 15, believed the Father mm. and it was counted unto him for righteousness. 
you. Righteousness is meeting Yahweh's standard of perfection. And no man can meet that, meet that, meet it, except, except in Yahushua's experience. In Yahushua Hamashiach. Because what Yahweh, Yahushua is the one that fulfilled the law for us, so that that righteousness can be given to us. Wow, I love that. I like, I like the way he put it in, in Isaiah um, 53 verse 10. Okay. Can we just read that scripture? Right. It is okay. the way it's it that's why when the Bible says it put him to grief. Mm. Isaiah 53. He said, 53, he said, yeah, it pleased the law, yeah, mm -hmm. to bruise him. Mm -hmm. He had put him to grief. Mm. He said, when he shall make his soul an offering for sin, mm. he shall see his seed. Mm. He shall prolong his days, mm. and the pleasure of Yahweh shall prosper in his hand. See, it pleased him, mm -hmm. just like a father. Mm. It pleased a father. It mm. pleased a father to put his son to grief. Mm. That is why it is, it is unpardonable mm -hmm. if you reject the counsel of Elohim ah. by not being obedient to the faith, obedient which is. Faith. Straight in Yahushua alone. Yes. No not work. Not involved. Involved. No, no works. That is just it. Barista, there's no work. The, the scripture said in Romans to him that works mm. is the reward, not mm -hmm. record of grace, but of death. Yeah, you but to him that works not, the believing on him that justifies the ungodly, mm. his faith is counted for righteousness. That if is when Paul quoted um uh Psalm 32 mm -hmm. in Romans chapter 4, mm. he said Blessed, oh Father, mm -hmm. thank you. He said, Blessed is the man hmm. unto whom Yahweh imputed righteousness without works. Hallelujah. That settles the matter, Bishop. The Blessed is the man unto whom Yahweh, Yahweh imputes righteousness, righteousness without works. Work. Because there's time that for you to have righteousness, you must do some work according to the law. And, um, and do you know the beautiful part of it? Yes, sir. I am that man. Uh, yeah, I am that man. Hallelujah. Also. Praise Yahweh. I am that man. I'm righteousness. I'm the righteousness of Yahweh. I'm, I, I can't just believe that. <laughs> I'm the righteousness of God. I'm the person of Yahweh. Yes, Whether you like it or not. Oh, no, no. Where Yahweh go, yeah. I'm telling you, go and hug the transformer. <laughs> if you feel like, just look for a transformer, hug it. Uh, I am the righteousness of Yahweh in this one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. All right, so we've gotten that one settled. And now, like I said, we've got some questions. Unlike other days where we just go ahead and talk as much as possible, well, we have a question or we have a set of questions we're going by for this week. And having, um, you know, finished with that one, let's move on to the next question we have for today. Okay. Now, if we are in the dispensation of grace, how would you explain Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, and 22. I know you talked about this last week about how somebody mm. said the law oh. is different from the flesh is different from you know the they spirit did. and all of that. Okay, so let's get to understand mm. the scriptures. No, let's first let's first let's read Galatians 5 16 and hear what it says. Okay. Galatians 5 16 says, This I say then, walk in the spirit, mm. and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Yes, walk in the spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Now let's look at Galatians 5 um, 22. It says but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, 23, it says meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Yes. What is he saying? Mm. Now, when, as long as you are in the flesh, mm -hmm. this is what you're going to get. Let's go to the book of First Timothy chapter 1. Okay. This is what you get as long as you're in the flesh. Because this question is a dispensational one. Very. It takes you between the first Adam and the last Adam. As long as you are in the first Adam, mm -hmm. this is what you find. Yes. And then... Okay, read for us if you're there. First Timothy chapter... Chapter 1 verse 9 to 10. Okay, knowing this, mm. that the law is not made for a righteous man, mm. but for the lawless and disobedient, mm. for the ungodly and for sinners, mm. for unholy and profane, mm -hmm. For murderers of fathers mm. and murderers of mothers, mm. for manslayers, for whoremongers, mm. for them that defy themselves with mm. mankind, mm. for men stealers, mm. for liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound, to sound doctrine. 
according to the glorious gospel of the blessed Elohim. Now, as long as you're in the flesh, you can, you can, you what you find is nine to ten. You cannot see eleven. Okay, eleven is a different ball game uh, uh, because there's a glorious gospel. Mm -hmm. Uh, say, according to the glorious gospel of the blessed Elohim, mm -hmm. who, who was committed on our trust. Now, the only person that is permitted to enjoy 11 mm -hmm. is the man that is in the spirit. Wow. So I what you, you find I hear you, sir. In, in the flesh is 9 and 10. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're in the flesh, that is your position. Mm -hmm. If you're in the flesh, you cannot walk in the spirit. You're in the spirit, you cannot walk in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And the Bible is said in Galatians chapter 5, mm -hmm. verse 16, see, mm -hmm. This I say, walk in the spirit. How do you modify the desire of the flesh? Mm -hmm. It's by walking in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Move from the first Adam to the second Adam. Mm -hmm. You don't have issues of the flesh. You have these issues. Mm -hmm. Now, now looking at 22, not this. Now, look at 22. We we'll look at 22, and let's look at Galatians 5 verse 22. When you walk in the spirit, mm -hmm. when you walk in the spirit, what you find is Galatians 5 22. Yes. He said, but the fruit of the spirit is this. Any man that is in the spirit, these are the fruits. Mm -hmm. What is the fruit? Love. That is why I, I I I cannot believe that a man will say have a, a church service and say it's this day of judgment. And I I, I cause your enemies die. Mm. That man does not he's not walking in the spirit. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know this uh, Elohim. Mm -hmm. That is a position. Because this if you find a minister of God and he doesn't have these things, run for your dear life. Mm. He said, For the fruit of the spirit is love, mm -hmm. joy, peace. They're always thinking that somebody wants to kill them. A cockroach, cockroach will pass. He says it's from the village. This will pass. Kill it. Mosquito. A, maybe a, an O. A creation of Elohim, an O, a beautiful thing. Mm. Flies and pets in their house. That day they'll be all night. Kill it. These people lack peace. They lack joy, peace, long suffering. They are quick tempered. You see them, very quick tempered. He said, gentleness, you can't find it. Goodness, oh, you find faith. Lie, lie to lie, they don't mm -hmm. get it. Now, in this faith here, I want to discuss something very clear. Okay. The faith in this dispensation is different from the faith in the Messiah's time. Exactly. exactly. So we have people, pastors, misleading people, telling them to believe. As if they are in the Messiah's time in this our time. Mm -hmm. You can be a child of God now and be sick. And you pray and Yahweh to heal you. And Yahweh will say, my grace is sufficient for you. Mm -hmm. That my, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Mm -hmm. Because many are the afflictions of the righteous. So it's not bad. You know, they'll give you this the instruction the man gave in the scripture the guy gave us in church today was um, that sickness is not from God. Therefore, go, listen. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. He said, as many that will walk in the Yahweh shall suffer persecution. Yes. Persecution can be a way of lack of job. It can be a way of sickness. It can be a way for anything. But it is not like others. Yahweh will allow it for a purpose to lead you to an expected end. That is why when you come into the Messiah, he drives your life. You don't drive it anymore. He takes you where he wants to take you at his own pace via his own roof. So going back here, it talks about meekness, mm -hmm. temperance. Mm -hmm. You see all this? Yeah, we should. And against such, there's no law. So that's the position. And I'll allow Pastor Kudu to also take a bite. Okay. Um, if you look at that, because last week, a woman sent this text to me mm. in the sense that I am in the flesh and her pastor is mm. a spirit man. Mm. So, because I'm not following her pastor, mm. death is my portion. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's true, you're very dying. <laughs> the, 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 the life you live is not you that live over your shoulder. They don't you. know that because your spirit she, she is mixing it up. She's mm. saying that the man is spirit yeah. and I'm flesh. Instead mm -hmm. of, she don't know I'm the one that is the spirit, spirit and the man is in flesh. And the man is in the flesh. <laughs> so, they flip it, you know, uh. upside down. Look at verse 17. For the flesh, lost it against the spirit mm. and the spirit against the flesh mm. and these are contrary the one to the other mm -hmm. so that ye cannot do the things that ye would mm. barista when you we read uh, uh, first timothy mm. chapter one if you look at mm. verse 11 mm -hmm. in comparison or reference with 17 Galatians chapter 5 verse 17 he says contrary the one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that ye would mm. what is that thing 
because she said that 11 is for the people that walk in the spirit. Yes, sir. The people will not walk according to the glorious gospel of the blessed Elohim, mm. which was committed to false trust, mm. the mystery gospel. Mm. You see the problem there. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. We are not under the law, but yes, under sir. grace. Yes. See now, any man, this is what many pastors has used to put people in bondage. Mm. And from verse 19. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest, mm. which are this, adultery, fornication, mm. uncleanness, lasciviousness, mm. idolatry, mm. witchcraft, mm. hatred, mm. variance, mm. emulations, mm. wrath, Mm. Strife, mm. seditions, mm. heresies, uh -oh. envy, mm -hmm. murders, uh -oh. drunkenness, mm. reveling, mm. and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, mm. that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom mm. of the Almighty. Romans chapter 8, verse 1 and 2 even saw this. There is therefore now no condemnation to all that are in the Messiah sure. who walk not according to the flesh. Yes. Woman that sent this thing to me, yes. I do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Mm. For what the law could not accomplish in my flesh, mm. knowing that my flesh is weak, mm. the father sent his son in the likeness of sinful flesh mm. and for sin condemned sin in the flesh mm. that the righteousness of the law mm. will be what fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh but according to the spirit if i remain in the spirit mm. i produce the love the joy this peace this holy spirit that in me produces that if I walk in the flesh, if I remain in Adam, but you know one thing, until a man come to understand the difference between the first Adam mm. and the last Adam, mm. the first man and the second man, he cannot understand this scripture. Yeah. The pastors will still be using this to put you in bondage. You will not experience the freedom, the liberty, Yahushua, we have already obtained Liberty, in Yahushua. By good. faith alone in the finished work alone. of the cross. There is no man on his own that can achieve love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness. It is the product of the spirit that is working in a man that produces this. Mm. But a man on his own produces this, even as we read. In first Timothy chapter 1 from verse 9 and 10 mm. they are the same so every man or any man any pastor that is always teaching the law preaches the law is putting you in bondage sure that's the position and that is why I love Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 the Messiah has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us as it is written Curse. Curse is everyone that hang on a tree, that the blessings of Abraham might be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. My interpretation, let me interpret that now so that okay. when I say, oh, you don't say I've come again. Mm. Cause who is hanging on the tree? Mm -hmm. The man that is paying tight, you are cursed. You are hanging on the tree. Okay. You that is paying first fruit, according to the scripture, you are cursed. You are hanging on the tree. You that is doing all those vows, uh, what they call it. You are doing them a favor. Uh, they are hanging. I'm showing them now. They are cursed. They have to hang on the tree because once they hang they on cost. the tree, the curse now is being removed because they are crucifying themselves. <laughs> but the <laughs> pastors are trying to tell them that Yeshua has not died because Yeshua has died to free them. Because he's on, still on them because they are, they are, they are, they are in the law. Because they are in the law. I hear you, sir. So anyone that Let refuses to Accept what Yahushua has done Hallelujah. and you want to still go back to the law because you cannot do the law. Mm. You cannot keep the law. All of us here from the south is we eating some. If you eat some, you are against you have it's part of the law. So you want to eat fresh fish. 
point and kill, point and leg. This, that. It's part of, you don't kosher meat. You see how someone buy, see suya, you just go and buy it. In the law, you have to kosher the meat. What is kosher? You take out every blood from it. You kosher it and keep it in salt for some time so that the blood will be drained from it. But you go and buy suya and you see some blood on it and the other man is burning it. And you go and give that's why you can't keep the law. So the only escape route for you, I hear you, sir, is to come into grace mm -hmm. and leave all these practices behind. Mm -hmm. You know, in general, I don't come and ask for your family. When they ask you, tell them that, Pastor, I'm, I'm not paying my first week this year because I don't know the cost. I want to obey uh -huh. the law. Yes. See, that's what I say. This pastor, I've been doing it all this while. Let me try this new year and see if something will mm. change. Mm. And see for yourself. And see how far you will move with you. Mm. See, 2024, if we continue in Galatians chapter 5, verse 24, they that are in the Messiah mm. have crucified the flesh mm. with the affections and lust. See, pay attention. That crucified is past tense. Mm. It is not will crucify because some of them they will say, Oh, you are still in the flesh. You, you are still in the you have not crucified it's the flesh. Past tense. Crucified. The Messiah was crucified for us mm. before the foundation from the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. So when it doesn't mean that because tomorrow I come to this knowledge of the truth, mm. then I have to the, immediately you reckon yourself to be. To have been crucified with him. Immediately, the flesh has been crucified. The yeah. Then, if you look at Romans chapter 8, verse 10, it says, mm. If you be in Christ, in mm. the Messiah, the flesh is dead because of sin. sin. So, woman, my flesh is dead because of sin. Because of sin. But your, is, your spirit but is my life. My spirit is life. Not because alive, but life. Life. Because of the term between alive or life. Because when something is alive, it can die. Yes, it but when something is life, it can die. Hear, life I hear that's you, a difference. I hear you, you know, some translation says it's alive because it's wrong. No, it's very wrong. The term between life and alive. Mm -hmm. Anything that is alive can die. Mm -hmm. But anything that is life, it's it's unending. Galatians. Uh, uh, Galatians 2 20 says, mm. We are crucified with, with the him. Messiah. Never Nevertheless, we live. live. Yes, not we, but, but the, the Messiah. Messiah the, Lord. Lord. the life, this life, this mm. life, which we now live in this flesh, mm. we live by the faith of the Son of the Almighty, who mm. loved us and, and gave himself for us. Hallelujah. Then, if you look at 25, mm. if we live in the Spirit, mm. let us walk in the Spirit. Mm. So, woman is a matter of walking in the spirit or walking in the flesh that no man is spirit i am spirit also because i am in yahushua hallelujah if we live in the spirit let us also walk in the spirit hallelujah thank you hmm. i i do know before the end of today's uh you know should i say service mm -hmm. <laughs> some of us will come to understand a whole lot that we've we pray. we've had wrong for a while we, we pray, pray sir pray, okay pray. now the next question is who actually raised your whoa. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> from the dead whoa. <laughs> Let the can you help us with that <laughs> you mean the question who raised your from the dead i've just read the question <laughs> 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 do you know that 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 this is going to blow your mind Okay. Please, I got ready. I'm about to blow some people's mind. I'm now. ready for this one. <laughs> okay. Now, who raised Yahushua from the dead? Let's hear what Galatians 1 1 says. Mm. Galatians 1 1 says, Paul, an apostle, not of man, mm. neither by man, but Yahushua, Yahushua Mashiach, and Yahweh the Father, mm. who raised him from the dead. Mm. By Galatians chapter 1 verse 1, mm -hmm. it said, Yahweh mm -hmm. raised Yahushua. From, from the dead. dead. Wow, yes. One position. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. Hmm. Okay, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Romans 8, 11. Hear me. Romans 8, 11 says, But if the spirit of him that raised up Yahushua from the dead dwell in you, mm -hmm. dwell in you, he that raised up Yahushua from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Mm. Now, by, by Romans 8, 11, he says who? The, the spirit. spirit. Raising from the dead. Mm. Now, let's look at the book of John 2, 9. John chapter 2, verse 19. Mm -hmm. Then I'll now throw the question to the audience. If you can answer the question, we'll give you a Christmas present. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you just say Christmas? Yes. Yeah, oh, wow, give me the nice. answer now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 because this is a, this is a festival of our festival. He said we, we, we rejoice with those that are rejoicing. Amen. We mourn with those that are mourning. Amen. As we are rejoicing, we rejoice with Praise Yahweh. 
Um, <laughs> John chapter 2, verse 19 says, Yahushua answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, mm. and in three days I will raise it up. Mm. By John 2 19 mm -hmm. is Yahushua. So the question now is who raised Yahushua from the dead? Alright, so I already have another. Now answer. this brings us mm. to the second question. Okay. Who created Adam? Okay. okay, no, let her answer the Okay, answer the first question. No, you do know I won't answer on air, but I'm already taking the present away. I'll allow the ah, listeners. Ah, ah. <laughs> the second question is okay. who created Adam? Mm -hmm. By Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. Let's look at it. That is why when we say you come to Bible study, we are not telling you after your offering and your time. Come and hear the the the, 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 the sincere the milk, the yes. sincere milk oh, of the world. Ah, you yeah, may yeah. grow there oh, by these people you know. collecting, making a merchandise of you. Yeah. You listen now. What will it cost you to come and learn for mm. yourself? Mm. Mm. Ge Genesis chapter one verse twenty seven mm. says, "So Yahweh created man, Elohim created man in His image." Mm -hmm. In the, in the image of Elohim created he male and female he created them. Mm. So by Genesis 1 to the 7, Elohim created Adam. Mm. Genesis 2 7. Mm -hmm. 2 7 says, Now hear me. Genesis 2 7 says, And the Lord God formed man of that's Elohim. Mm -hmm. The Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils mm -hmm. the breath of life, mm -hmm. and he became a living soul. He has said, The Lord God. Mm -hmm. So, Genesis 1 27 and Genesis 2 17 says, Elohim created man. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to the book of John, chapter 33, verse, two, th 33, verse 4. Job? Yes, Job 33, verse 4. Okay. Job 33, verse 4. Job 33 verse 4 says, He said, And the spirit of Elohim had made me, mm. and the breath of the Almighty.